up YouTube this your girl Kanisha again back with another video on today so as you can see by the thumbnail and in the title I'll be doing the story time and I'll be talking about Chicago versus Memphis okay so you all know that I'm from Chicago and I moved to Memphis um, in 2006 so that makes 16 years since I've been here so one thing that's interesting to me about both cities they kind of have they kind of remind me of each other and some similarities one thing I do miss about being in Chicago is some of the um, the food like home running and pizza it's one of my favorite pizza places that have been around for years um, Memphis do have like um, a pizza place here called Broadway Pizza, which is very, very good, you all. I mean, it kind of put me in the mind of Chicago um, home run in pizza place. So it's kind of similar to, uh, to between both places. But like I say, it's nothing like when you being at home, eating that good home, home you know, the home food that you was brought up on. And Chicago also known for a place called Jewtown, which had a, some great amazing Polish sausages and hot dogs which is really really amazing they also known for their um, pork chops and then Memphis has some good eatery places as well too Memphis also known for barbecue so if you ever come to Memphis and travel they do have great barbecue here one of my favorite barbecue spots here in Memphis is called a and R barbecue which is really good and um, rendezvous it's a very popular trend here in Memphis they also have great barbecue as well so if you ever come to Memphis to visit and um, you want to try some good old barbecue, try those two places, Rendezvous and A&R Barbecue. Also, Chicago um, it have a great chicken place called Harold's Chicken on the south side, which is pretty good. And the chicken wings are really good. They known for their mild sauce, and they put like mild sauce on the chicken as well as French fries. Also, Memphis has some great chicken, good chicken places here too. We used to have a place here called 901 Wings that has served some amazing honey hot wings, lemon pepper wings. I think they say that they still got the location here, but they moved because originally they was. Um, off of a street called Main Street, which is in downtown Memphis. And that was the original location that I was familiar with. But I know, you know, due to the pandemic, a lot of places in the Memphis area either had went, you know, went out of business or either moved to different locations. But yeah, if you all ever come to um, Memphis and want some good chicken, check out 901 Wings. If you decide to go to Chicago, check out Harold's Chicken. Like I say, both are amazing chicken places. Both cities have great um like i said they both have great shopping areas that you can shop at we know in chicago you have like far as the mall we got a mall there called north riverside mall i haven't like i said i haven't been there in chicago in a while i think the last time i went to visit chicago was in 2019 october so i haven't been there i don't know when i plan on going back home and visit you know due to work how my schedule is so i gotta set up a time and go back and visit because um, I've been hearing that they have opened up a lot of amazing places as well as malls. But the last time I was there, I know, you know, Macy's was a popular trend, Macy's Mall downtown. And then they also had a lot of great stuff, Sears, but you know, Sears and went out of business. I think they went out of business all over. Um, in Memphis, Memphis have a lot of boutiques. They also have malls here, but the malls not is like they used to be. One of my favorite malls here in Memphis was called Southland Mall and Oak Cork Mall. Southland Mall don't really hardly have much, many stores now. Like I say, you know, a lot of stuff went out of business due to, you know, the pandemic. And so Southway, I mean, I'm sorry, Southland Mall don't really have as many stores like Oak Cork Mall. But um, yeah, Oak Cork is, Oakwood is a pretty cool mall though they have great stuff it's like located in the midtown area of memphis which is a you know um a cool place to check out both both cities chicago and memphis um now okay chicago have white castle burgers chicago is known for white castle burgers only uh, Memphis known for crystals. Crystals and White Castle kind of put me in the mind each other. Most people say crystals taste better than White Castle. White Castle tastes better than crystals. But I like both places. Both burger places. They both give you these little burgers in the box, and they come with little fries. So they they like I say, both places are cool. So I mean, both restaurants are cool. They kind of like I say, put me in the mind of one another, as well as um. 
Chicago have Baskin Robbins and Memphis have um, Dairy Queen, but I just found out we do have. I just found out Memphis also have a Baskin Robbins as, as well. So I love me some Baskin Robbins ice cream. I have tried from Dairy Queen in Memphis. Memphis Dairy Queen have ice cream as well, but they serve burgers too. So Dairy Queen has some pretty good food too. But um, yeah, like I say, um, Memphis and Chicago are two very popular cities here to check out. So, you know, if you ever want to come to either city or state, you know, check out some of these places. Cause like I say, they both are popular cities. Um, what else I can say about the difference with, I mean, the uh, Memphis and Chicago. You all know I'm a nature type girl. I love the land, the landmarks of both cities, um, the skyline. So Memphis had this bridge, I call it shaped like either a bird or an M. It light up at night, very cool. Look. Um, it's located in the downtown area, very cool, look, you know, bridge. Um, you know, it carried a lot of traffic, but yeah, the bridge, it, it normally, like if something happening in the city, they usually have like the color, the bridge light up at night for those colors. I remember when, um, New Year, what, what's that, Christmas was around the way, they had the bridge lit up red and green, like the lights on the bridge was flickering. And then with Chicago, they also um, have like this big old Christmas tree downtown where they decorated. But they also do that here in Memphis too, cause it's a big old Christmas tree they have downtown by the bank. And it, they have like a lot of lights on there as well. It's like a huge, big giant tree in both cities where they decorate in the downtown area. Um, what else I can say between Memphis and Chicago? Um, there's something else I wanna say. Um, yeah, but the skylines here are amazing. Chicago skyline, you know, is known for the Sears Tower. You have all the amazing buildings, and then you got the Lake Lakeshore Drive and the river. Memphis, um, the Mississippi River runs through Memphis. And um, like I say, it, both cities are some amazing cities. You know, most people um, come to both cities. I know, like I have, but see, but I work at a hotel. I run into people that come here all the time, visiting, and they ask me questions about, you know, um, the city. So um, it's a lot of stuff to do in both cities. Let me see, as far as sandwich shops, it used to be like, the, the last time I was in Chicago, when I was going to school, there's a sandwich shop called Pop, is it Pop Belly, I wanna say? They have some amazing sound, nah, what's this? I can't even think of that sandwich place, y'all. Is it Pop? It's a sandwich place there. They have some great sandwiches. Um, I can't even think of that sandwich place, you all. I'm sorry. But it is it's located downtown. They have great sandwiches. It kind of puts you on the mind of Subway, which which I think Chicago do have Subway. Yeah, Chicago do have Subway as well as um, yeah Subway. And then Memphis also has Subway and Lenny's. So it's like both cities, there, there are some comparison and similarities to each city. But um, yeah, like I say, the food just amazing in both cities. I love, like I say, I love to eat. Your girl love to eat. So you know, one thing about me, I, I, I love trying new places. I love supporting a lot of, um, you know, black owned restaurants as well too. Memphis do have a few, um, a few black owned restaurants. There's one particular place here called Sage that I want to check out. It's black owned. They located downtown Memphis on Main Street. I'm gonna have to check them out one day on the off day. The line be out the door. So if you know, if you walking past that place and you see the line out the door, they gotta have some good food. I heard amazing things about that restaurant. I'm gonna have to check them out one day and see what, you know, what's good on their menu. Cause I think they do brunches. Um, what else I miss about Chicago? But yeah, oh yeah, Chicago Italian beef sandwiches. They have some amazing gyros, Italian beef. Italian beef is kind of like, it kind of puts you in the mind like a little sub sandwich, but the meat, I think the meat is like lamb meat, but they put cheese and hot peppers on there. But now don't get me wrong, we do have a place here called J&J's that do sell the sandwiches. It don't taste exactly like the Chicago style Italian beef, but they 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 do pretty good at making it. I, I give them I give them an A plus, but it's not the same. And then they also have a restaurant here in Memphis, located in East Memphis, off a street called Winchester. That's called the Taste of Chicago. 
and the people there, from my understanding, they are from Chicago, and they, you know, try to carry some of the same foods that I, I originally grew up on eating it from Chicago, which is the Italian bees, the um, cheeseburgers, the um, garros, which is pretty good. And like I say, if you all ever check these two cities cities out, just ch check out some of these restaurants I'm telling you about, because like I say, both cities have great food. They really do. So that's all I can think of you all. I can't really think of more uh, far as the similarities between the both cities. But one thing I can say, they both great cities to live at. Most people ask me why I moved from Chicago, what made me come to Memphis, but I kind of was ready for a change. I just wanted to see what a, you know, what a new um, city was like and, you know, just kind of change my lifestyle. I do miss home. I never forget where I come from. But um, like I say, I enjoy Memphis, too. I, 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 I haven't, you know, I kind of made Memphis my hometown. But one of these days I plan on do going back to Chicago and, you know, visiting my city. But I hope you all like this video for today. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and also subscribe to my channel. Until next time, you all have a great one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, you all, I'm back. I had to look at the video and I replay. But actually, I mentioned earlier that Memphis have a good Dairy Queen. Memphis um, have a Dixie Queen. So the restaurant is called Dixie Queen, which sells, um, they have great burgers and ice cream. So it's not Dairy Queen, but it's Dixie Queen. So, um, yeah, Memphis have a Dixie Queen that serves ice cream as well as cheeseburgers.